Hey everybody, GP here with another tapping video. As you already saw from the title, it's called Tapping on I'm Not Safe. And if you've noticed, if you've been following me for any period of time, you've noticed that I've done a lot of tapping videos called I'm Not Safe. Well, there's a reason for that. It's not the kind of thing you do. It's not one and done, right? The That primordial uh, trauma that makes us feel unsafe as a way of life and not just as a momentary experience uh, is deeply in ground in all of us. I mean, that's what happens that causes a, uh, a child uh, trauma, whether it be in childhood or later in adult. Uh, in adulthood, it's always the same thing. Trauma is an inability to deal with a safe system, a safe moment. So making sure that we revisit that sense of I'm not safe is uh, absolutely critical. That safety mechanism <laughs> should be operating. The way, that, the way the energy system is designed to operate, the nervous system is designed to operate, is that there's a certain level of alertness at all times for danger. I mean, you can, you can see, have you ever seen, you know, nature movies or been in nature and watch an animal just, you know, perk up, listen, and then go back to what they were doing. Um, that kind of an unconscious sensing of the environment for danger. And only when it has to, like, either take over or tell you about it, does it actually do anything. Well, what happens when we get traumatized is that sense of, sa of, of not being safe, that, that alertness to danger becomes uh, enhanced. It gets actually stuck in the on position. Um, and of course, we have, we, we've all been trained to expect the worst, you know, to plan for the future, what's going to happen in the future, what might happen in the future. And so our capacity to, uh, to, to project a future which is never, which is usually not very good, um, just keeps the entire system at a low level of really what ends up being anxiety uh, and stress. So I just wanted to once again go through that uh, tapping on one of the most fundamental things there is. I'm not safe. I'm not enough. I'm not lovable. These are really very fundamental things that every single single human being on the planet has actually experienced. And, and is still with, unless you've consciously made an attempt to, to transcend it using tapping or some other method. So we're going to do it again. Now, those of you who are really new to my tapping, especially those of you who are to new, new to the way I do EFT and, um, and are also into visualization and positive affirmations and that sort of thing, please stay to the end, <laughs> right? It's not that there's some bonus offer or something. It's just that I, I, I go through some phases with it that are in each one of the phases are very, very important. And the first phase sounds like it's nothing but a negative diatribe. Um, and people who are really into affirmations and that, the like, they don't like that. As a matter of fact, I had a woman walk out of one of my, uh, of one of my uh, of, uh, workshops uh, and she didn't stay to the end because I don't stay there. But I stay in the, in, in, in the totally negative aspect in the first part because you have to realize that while intellectually we may know we're not safe, there's an energetic assumption deep within the body that assumes you're not, excuse, excuse me, that you know you are safe, the, the energy system assumes you're not. It just assumes it and therefore projects danger everywhere and really will never let you feel safe. But enough, enough preamble. It's always helpful to understand it, but enough of that. Let's just get in, into the tapping now. So join me if you will. If you don't know where the points are, just tap on yourself for the uh, in the same place that I do when I say something just repeat it that's all there is to 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 uh, uh, doing EFT so if you are ready if you'll oblige me just start tapping on the side of your hand it's called the karate chop point even though I'm not safe I've never been safe I'm never going to be safe it's not possible to be safe. I deeply and profoundly love and accept myself just the way I am. Or at least I'm open to loving and accepting myself. 
So even though I'm not safe, my parents weren't safe, the school wasn't safe, the world isn't safe, I've never been safe, I don't even know what safe feels like, I deeply and profoundly love and accept myself just the way I am. So even though safety is impossible, nobody really has it. That's why we fight each other all the time. That's why we defend ourselves to the teeth. I've never been safe and I totally accept how I'm feeling and love myself anyway. All right, let's tap to the points. Just tap where I tap. I'm not safe. I've never been safe. I don't even know what it feels like. I'm always on high alert. But I need to be. There's danger everywhere. Hey, there's danger in the air. I can breathe something and die. There's bad people all around. The world's falling apart. You can't trust your government. My parents weren't safe. None of the schools were safe. There was danger everywhere. No wonder I contracted. No wonder I feel this way. There's danger everywhere. Oh, I wish I could be safe. But I know it's not possible. There's no such thing as safety. All you can do is lay low, play your cards right, and not be too visible. Just do things the way you're supposed to. Manage to eke out a living. Just barely safe. But you never know when that other shoe is going to drop. You just don't know. So you always got to be ready. No wonder my nervous system is on high alert. It's the best place for it to be. That's the only way you can guarantee safety. Of course, you can't really guarantee it. So you just got to keep doing it. Keep being alert. Just accept stress and anxiety as a way of life. I'm not safe and I'm never going to be. And that's that. All right, stop. Take a deep breath. Again, those of you who are into like affirmations and stuff, don't worry. I'm not going to leave it there. But it's very important that we voice the belief that is under the surface. Very important that we don't just try to suppress it or gloss over it or reframe it, that we really let this traumatic energy be free to express itself. And that's all I'm doing. But notice that sense, I am not safe. Does it feel more or less true now? For most, it feels less true. There's, there's a calmness that comes over the body, a beautiful kind of calmness, and even a little bit of opening. So remember, it isn't an assumption, but it's deeply held. It's deeply held in the nervous system. Right? So the nervous system itself has to open up enough to question its own assumption about where it is, the environment in which it's living. And that's what we're going to do in this next round of tapping. We're going to start to open up a little bit. So even though I'm not safe, I've never been safe, and I'm never going to be safe. Well, I'm open to the possibility that if I could be safe, that'd be great. 
Either way, I love or accept myself and accept myself anyway. Even though I'm not safe, there's no way to be safe. I am open to the possibility that maybe, just maybe, it could be possible in certain circumstances for a short period of time. But even if it isn't, I totally love and accept myself as I am. At least, I'm open to that too. So even though safety is really not in the cards for me, it's never going to happen. If it could happen, if it was possible, I'd certainly let myself accept it. I know it's not, so I love and accept myself anyway. Let's tap to the points. I know I'm not safe. There is danger everywhere. I have to be on high alert. I have to constrict myself. Can't really take chances. Grab what may look like opportunities. But you never know. High risk factor. But what if, what if it was possible? What if there was a way to be safe? I mean, I made it to adulthood. I was safe enough to get here. I mean, it hasn't been, you know, thriving. But it has been safe. So maybe I'm not completely unsafe. Of course, the nervous system really had to shut everything down, restrict me in really severe ways. But that was, nece that was necessary. Well, it was necessary. I mean, when I was little, it had to do that. After all, I was powerless defenseless, totally vulnerable. I couldn't protect myself or even help. The nervous system had to do it all. Maybe that isn't true now. It probably is. But what if it isn't? What if that was just an assumption? A place I got stuck. Maybe there's more safety available to me now than there was then. Of course there is. I'm bigger, stronger, independent. So maybe, just maybe, it is possible to be safe here and now and to feel safe here and now. If it isn't, I totally accept it as I have to remain safe. But is it possible to be both safe and free. Free to do more. Free to grow and expand. Free to have and be more. I wonder if it's possible. Can I be safe and free at the same time? Probably not, but if I could, I definitely want that. 
I want to thank my energy system for taking such good care of me. It really has kept me safe. And it's had to do it in a rather extreme way. I totally understand why it did it that way. And I totally accept it. All right, stop. Take a deep breath. Mm. Once again, check in. And pose that question inside yourself. Is it possible to be both safe and free? To grow and expand safely? Just check inside and see if that feels more possible than before. For most, it will. There can be some resistance to it. Sometimes there's a little voice that say, well, I don't know. It can be, it can be, it can be reticent, right? But see if it doesn't at least willing to consider the possibility. I mean, nobody has any argument with their safety mechanism, right? Nobody wants that to shut down. I mean, you'd be dead in a few minutes, right? But we don't want it to be so overzealous that it keeps us from growing. We don't want to be stuck in a little bubble just because it's safe. There's a, there's a willingness to take a few chances, take a, two, a few risks. As long as that mechanism is online and wisely watching out for us, it's safe to do so. And so in this third round, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start inviting the nervous system itself to start checking its own assumptions. That's what it's actually been doing. It's, I've been going through these things. Your nervous system, because we haven't been contradicted, we haven't contradicting it, we haven't been fighting it, we've not been trying to force it into a position or imposing things like visualization or affirmations on it. It's, it has dropped out of its defensive posture. It doesn't have to defend itself against you because you're totally accepting it. And so now we're going to invite it, your energy system, the nervous system. I often use those two words synonymously, although there is a subtle difference. We're going to, we're going to invite it to take a look. Take a look-see. So, once again, even though I'm not safe, or at least, I've never really felt safe. I don't really know how to be safe. I am beginning to think it's possible. Maybe even really possible. So even though all of this time I've been living out this assumption, I thought it was true, my body thought it was true. I'm now open to the possibility that I can be both safe and free. Even though it's, it, it's been a long time, my nervous system has been in this position a very long time, I'm finally open to the possibility that I could be both safe and free. And boy, do I want that. Right, let's tap to the points. I'm not safe. You know, that doesn't feel quite as true. I've certainly been living as if that was the case. My whole nervous system was trained to operate like that, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's been laboring under that assumption and dutifully implementing it. But that doesn't make it true. I really want to know what's true. Yes, I know there is danger out there. There are risks. When I really look at my life, there's not that much danger. Most of it's in my head. 
most of the time, I really am safe. I'd like to feel safe when I am safe and only feel in danger when there really is danger. I'm going to invite my nervous system now to open up, to look around, to see if it's as dangerous as you thought it was. There's really no danger in doing that. You have effectively shut me down completely against my will for decades. So if you see danger, you have my permission to shut me down again. So there's no risk to just take a look. Just open up and see for yourself. And if there isn't any danger, we can go off of alert. If there is, we hightail it. We fight or flee. We do what we need to do. And you have my full permission to do it. But when there isn't any danger, let's just be at peace and release some of that creative energy that has been used for defense. I know you can do this. You have been protecting me constantly, 24-7, since my conception. You have watched over me, kept me safe. Now I can work with you. I've become more conscious. We can be partners. Thank you for everything you've done for me. Thank you for taking care of me. Thank you. I love you. Take another deep breath. And how does it feel now? I always get a little, <laughs> how you get a little, hmm, after I'm doing uh, a lot of tapping like this. So just check in again. Is it possible to feel both free and safe? Even freer than you even imagined. Being able, being able to do things you never imagined before. Things that seemed impossible. Do they seem so impossible now? This is the kind of way we, we get the nervous system itself to catch up to where we are, uh, you know, our vision has gone. We all have high aspirations and ambitions for our life. And oftentimes the nervous system is holding back. There's resistance even to our, 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 our deepest desires and growth that would actually obviously be good or better. This is how you bring the entire system in line with your vision of what's possible. So, boy, that went a long time. Thank you all. I hope you uh, enjoy this, and I look forward to the next one. I hope you do, too. Please like and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, namaste.